hemolytic anemia. Before we discuss hemolytic anemia, we need to know that the lifespan of red blood cells is 120 days. And after 120 days, the red blood cell will be aged. It will be destroyed uh, extravascularly in the liver and spleen. In the liver and spleen because of presence of macrophage. So extravascular destruction of the aged red blood cell lead to release of heme and heme will give iron and protoperferin. Iron will be used for recycling of new heme by pioneer transferrin while protoperferin uh, con uh, convert to pilorobin. Pilorobin will be conjugated in the liver in order to be executed in the stool in the form of circopalangin or in the urine in the form of uropalangin. Amino acids from globin uh, will uh, be released and used for uh, new globin uh, cells. This is a normal extravascular destruction of red blood cells after 120 days. Uh, intravascular destruction uh, means that destruction of red blood cells inside the blood vessels. This is abnormal. Uh, lysis of red blood cells inside the blood vessels lead to release of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin in the blood is called hemoglobinemia. Uh, binding hemoglobin to the albumin in the blood lead to formation of methemic albumin uh, and uh, hemoglobinemia means uh, the hemoglobin will go to the after that after uh, that into the urine or to the kidney to be secreted in the urine in the form of hemoglobinuria iron is released from the hemoglobin and lead to the formation of hemosiderin in the urine what's called hemosiderinuria so hemolytic anemia is anemia due to shortening of the lifespan of red blood cells. Shortening of lifespan less than 120 days. Less than 120 days. Uh, the site of destruction may be extravascular in the spleen and the liver uh, by macrophage or intravascular inside the blood vessels. Uh, hemolytic anemia may be hereditary hemolytic anemia due to genetic causes affecting the membrane senses, affecting the enzyme responsible for metabolism of the uh, red blood cells or affecting the hemoglobin or the protein inside the red blood cells. It may be environmental causes, exposure to antibodies, immune, exposure to infections, exposure to drugs, chemicals or radiation or excess heat or uh, uh, very severe cold uh, weather.